If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you. Glucose production in the liver is a coordinated process between glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis. Glycogenolysis breaks down glycogen providing glucose from glycogen stores whereas gluconeogenesis will use smaller molecules as precursors like pyruvate, lactate, glycerol and other carbon skeletons derived from amino acids to produce glucose. Both of these pathways, glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, are more active in the fasting state. The common molecule released from, produced from gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis is glucose 6-phosphate. The liver is unique in that it has glucose 6-phosphatase which will produce glucose from glucose 6-phosphate. Without this former enzyme, glucose would not be produced from glucose 6-phosphate and could result in severe fasting hypoglycemia. In glycogen metabolism, PKA can phosphorylate glycogen synthase and in doing so it will inhibit the enzyme and glycogen synthesis or uh, glycogenesis will be inhibited. On the other hand, PKA will phosphorylate the glycogen phosphorylase kinase which in turn will be activated and can phosphorylate glycogen phosphorylase and activate the latter enzyme for the hydrolysis of glycogen. <clears throat> In gluconeogenesis, there are three enzymes that are upregulated by glucagon. These key enzymes are PEP carboxykinase, fructose 1,6 bisphosphatase, and glucose 6 phosphate phosphatase. All three enzymes are upregulated, or the expression of all these three enzymes is increased by glucagon. So gluconeogenesis becomes more active when glucagon is elevated in the plasma. Another important allosteric regulator of gluconeogenesis is acetyl-CoA. Acetyl-CoA in the liver will accumulate due to beta oxidation of fatty acids by the liver. Acetyl-CoA in the liver will thus allosterically activate pyruvate carboxylase, a key bypass enzyme in gluconeogenesis. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thank you.